Oh, mm. honey, chicken's divine. Thank you, Dan. Are you guys okay? You're not eating. Girls? It's okay, honey. They're not hungry. They're probably dieting. That's what you girls are into these days, right? The least you could do is eat a bite or two. Then they kicked me out right after that because they said I was a bad influence. It was her fault just as much as it was mine. The first time I tried ecstasy, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you about the second one, because the first time I don't think anything happened. It really didn't do shit to me. I was with my two roommates, who are like my best friends. Um, they didn't, they never pressured me to ever try it. I just, one day, just decided I was curious and, I don't know, wanted to have a good time. First time. That was with, uh, Summer. Um, the first time I ever tried ecstasy. <laughs> wow, love it. Wow. So how fun was tonight? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I have this mental scrapbook, right? And it's like like all the best moments of my life were in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I got I've got one from tonight, I promise. I'm sitting here and I'm in the middle of this crowd, right? And there's people everywhere and we're just we're sweating and we're loving and we're just feeling everything. For those four or five hours that I'm rolling, I am in complete peace and I am so present. I'm not worried about yesterday or tomorrow or even 10 minutes from now. I mean, I'm just so there and so connected and, and so unafraid to connect with people. Hey, you want a pill? Okay. Whoa. You got a lot of them. Yeah. How'd you get so many? Well, it's like every time we go out, my friends always come to me to hook it up. So I figure, you know, might as well just always have them on me, you know? So it's like, I mean, I'm not really dealing with anything. I'm just taking care of my friend, you know? That's cool. Where are you from? Um, am I supposed to be talking to you? Or, oh, okay, sorry. Um, hi, my name's Rain. I am from Los Angeles, California, and I am 23 years old. My name's Clinton Carroll. I'm 23 years old from Northern Cali. With ecstasy, it's like you're in a fantasy land, and I got to go to that fantasy world all the fucking time and meet people that are cool and chill that I wouldn't have talked to before. Hey, y'all, I heard they backed the old boy out in Vegas trying to slay them things, you know what I mean? It's on the B-Lives. So, yo, them new jump-offs, them shit is up the hinges, man. Jump-offs? E-bombs, E-pills? Jump-offs! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, they got them new blue jump-offs, and them shits are supposed to be real ill, man. In fact, I heard that they bagged three bodies out in Vegas off them shits, man. Bagged them? They found three dead bodies. Oh. They that sick. That sounds ill, man. Them shits are sick, B. For real, yo, when they touch down in LA, I got you all day, all right? So thanks for the heads up, man. All day, baby, it's love. Just let everybody know what's good in the hood. You on deck, all right? Yeah, I'll take care of my peeps, man. All right, yo. Oh, excuse me a sec. Right. Probably one of my bitches. And you'll be out, pimpin'. Miss Chow. Today is fifth. Why are you no paying rent? Look, I'm sorry, I know, but I'm not going to get paid till next week, so that's when I got to pay. I don't care when you get paid, rent is due first of month. Well, how about this? Um, I'll pay on time next month. Got a deal? No more parties. You're always so loud. Okay, then. Bye bye. Yo, man, I am so embarrassed. No, it's nothing, baby. Yo, fuck that bitch. Yo, stick a chopstick up her ass or something and hope a fortune cookie come out. You know what I mean? But check this out, man. I got to go. So here, I'm going to hit you with those. You know what I mean? And that'd be that. My name's Sarah Willis. I'm 25 years old, and I'm a high school English teacher in L.A. Okay, you guys, don't forget your research papers are due Monday. No late papers, no excuses. Have a good weekend. Ms. Phyllis? Yes, Josh? How about our papers? Josh, I just finished saying no late papers. No, yeah. My grandpa died, so I got to fly to Florida for his funeral. Oh, wow. I'm really sorry. I'm just wondering if there's any way I can, you know... You don't have to turn it in Monday. How's Friday sound? Uh, that'd be great. Thanks, Miss Wills. Sure. I'm sorry about your grandpa. I met Josh at this party at my friend's house, this little house party, and I just thought he was so fucking cute. Like, I didn't know how young he was. He was, like, a baby when we first met, but I just thought he was adorable. Like, he's got this great mouth that I used to become obsessed with while he was talking. He's got these big, juicy lips that you just want to suck on. But, yeah, he's a nice guy, you know? Hey. 
Let me get that for you. Okay. No problem. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you don't happen to have a cigarette by any chance, do you? Uh, yeah. Do you have a lighter? Yeah. So how do you know Jacqueline? Um, I go to school with her sister. Her sister, Emmy? Yeah. Isn't she in high school? Yeah. You're in high school? Yeah. Oh my god. I thought you were a lot older than that. I thought you were like 23 or something. No. Um, <laughs> I'm like the guy who gets a beer for all my friends, though. What kind of music do you listen to? No, rock. Uh, you don't like techno? Uh, it's not really my thing. Oh, that's too bad. Why? Because my friend's a DJ and he's throwing this huge party downtown this weekend. And if you don't like techno, you know. Well, you know, I might be into it. It's worth checking out. Really? Right on. Yeah. So you should get my number. Um, yeah. Do you have a pen or anything? Hey, my ride's about to leave right now, but um, how about I get a call sometime this week? Okay, that sounds good. What was your name again? Summer. Oh, uh, I'm Josh. Josh? Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, well, uh, I'll give you a call, all right? Okay. Bye. Um, well, I'm Summer. I just turned 20, and um, well, I'm from all over. I live in L.A. now, but I was born in Michigan, and I grew up all over the place. Hello, Summer. Hey. You going up? to the uh, shindig of the season tonight? Of course, of course. Cool, cool. Got some flowers for you. Right on. Now, uh, you still got my number, right? Uh, yeah. It's my phone. Because yeah. I can give it to you again if you want. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> well, you want to roll with my crew tonight? You let me know. Well, actually, I'm rolling with Brent tonight, but uh, I'll see you there. Okay, cool. Um, I'll see you there. Oh, hey, wait up. Um, be careful about buying any E from somebody you don't know at the party tonight, all right? There's been some hella bad fake shit going around. So stay away from blue pills, but not blue boys. You know right on. Blue pills. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Hey, uh, I need some new shades for tonight. I'm wearing my, like, orange medic outfit, you know? With the... We just got orange shades in. Really? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. How do I look? Hot. You like it? Alien hot, but hot. Alien hot, it's good. Uh, Dan Litt, I'm 26 years old. Boy, this is like an interview, huh? Um, originally, I'm from New York. Sorry to disturb you, your highness. Hey, Dad. What the hell did you do to this place? like a Japanese whorehouse. Look at this crap. I haven't heard from Dr. Levine lately. Are you even going to class? Very funny. Did you tell Hector to trim the ficus? Nope, I didn't. I wasn't even here when he came. Must have been in class. He said the last time he was here, he could barely mow the lawn. There were so many beer bottles on it. That's ridiculous. He said you were asleep in the pool house with about ten other people when he came by at three in the afternoon. You know, is there anything else you and Hector talk about? I had no fucking idea you guys were such great friends. Danny, it's time for you to grow up, son. Hi, I'm Matt, and I'm 25. I am from a small town in BFE, Ohio. And my parents are like these total Bible thumpers. Hence the reason I'm here in fabulous West Hollywood. And look at me, I'm putting on makeup. Morons drives! Relax, it's my ear. Hello, Matthew. What are you doing tonight? Going to Sunset? Why? No, you're not. You're coming out with me. Oh, did you and Seth have a fight? Yeah, this morning. It's officially over. Hey. Where have you been? I was out. I thought we had plans. It's four in the morning. What are you, my fucking mother? No, I'm your fucking boyfriend. <laughs> boyfriend? You're not my fucking boyfriend. Don't you understand that? What? What about the shit you said the other night? <laughs> yeah, well, people say shit they don't mean when they're fucked up. Why are you being such an asshole? I'm out of here. Shut up! What's wrong with me? Nothing! It's a problem, you're too perfect. So we game for tonight? What do I have to do? Well, this is my house party downtown. Stop right there, I don't do grungy, you know that. You're so judgmental, you never let me finish. Let me guess, a bunch of sweaty etards dancing till five in the morning. No thank you. Fine, will you at least go to fag town with me? If I must. My last day. Bye. Alright. <laughs> Dr. Pearson knew you weren't there today, Dan. Did you get the liquor? Oh, yeah, about that, man. Um, you know, I was on the freeway, and there was this old lady, and she just cut me off, man, and I missed my exit. Are you serious? I'll get it tomorrow. I'm bringing the party back here tonight. Party? 
I've got so much work to do. Hey, you do too. Come on. It's the weekend. But what about finals next week? Screw them. Screw finals. Do I think people take ecstasy to escape? Um, fuck yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't feel like it helps you escape. It's an escape. It's an escape from the stupid reality that we all live in. Um, and the feeling that you're on is exactly how people should really live in this world. I feel like when you're on the drug, you're still thinking about the things that maybe you're trying to escape from. It's just, you're okay with them. No, okay? No. S stop it. Go spit or something. Why not? Come on, come on. That's not really fun. <laughs> no, for you it will. Come on. I'm having fun here. I want you to sit around here feeling sorry for yourself. I I'm really... not feeling sorry for myself. Okay? I just don't want to go. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. on your record. You get caught. You're screwed. I think I'll be fine. Rain, the doctor will see you now. That's what I was afraid of. You know, we've got five weeks away. Maybe we should talk about your options. If you're planning on having this baby, we should talk about your health. I'm healthy. And do you drink alcohol? I don't really drink that much. Any recreational drugs? I've tried ecstasy in the past. How frequently? I've kind of tried it a lot. I don't think I'm ready to have a baby. Is this why you broke up with Dustin? I really, really don't want to go into it right now. I just okay. really want you to go with me. I've done enough, and I'm smart enough to know that when I'm going to get some pills, I get them from reliable sources, from people that I know. I don't walk up to some guy at a club wearing an X t-shirt and go, hey, can I have a pill? I mean, who knows what that is. You got anything good today? Uh, yeah, I do. You like white doves? Sounds good. All right. How many do you need? Enough for me and my girls. Yeah. Ten. So you going out tonight? Yeah, I'm not going to miss Gazelle. Mm. Your girlfriend going with you? Really confused right now. Confused? Confused about what? I'm confused about um, life, about us. I'm confused about a lot of things, okay? That's it? You're confused about a lot of things? Do you want to just throw away everything we have together I'm just like that? I'm not throwing anything away. Just talk to me. Is this about me dealing? Actually, uh, we broke up. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. My name is Lexa, and I'm not telling you how old I am. I ended up in Los Angeles when I was 14 years old, and I've been here ever since. Hey, girls. Mama's got presents. Check it out. Wait, why do those look different than the ones we took last time? Because these are double stacked. What's that mean? It means that they deliver the goods. What it means is they're stronger. Stronger? What if they're too strong for me? The ones I had last time I think were strong enough. Oh my god, this time you might become a huge raging slut and fuck everybody. No, I'm serious, you guys. Am I gonna be cool? You'll be fine. Look, we'll be there to take care of you. You're nothing to worry about. It's all good. Take your whole life, every emotion, every feeling, everything that you've ever experienced, and put it in a a centrifuge and just separate all the, the, the shit, the, the, the pressures, the anxieties, the stresses, the everything, the fear, and, and take that away. And now all you're left with is optimism and hope and love and passion. It's like, it's like when you're having sex and you're just about to come and you're not quite there, you're like right there, right there, right there. Ugh, like imagine that for like six hours. Think about uh, being happy for eight hours with the person you care about the most at that point in time, you know? It's just perfect. Yeah, it is I don't know, kind of opens your eyes up to a new, uh, a new life. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I've never done this before. You are my favorite person in the world. <laughs> I told you it would be fun. I feel like, uh, every molecule in the air, every... Look at my hair. <laughs> Look. <laughs> hey, you know, there's another party this weekend, if you want to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. When is it? Uh, Friday night. Um, a basketball game. Well, would you rather play basketball or roll with me?
think about it. My coach is gonna be pissed. <laughs> Yay! Do I think sex and ecstasy are related? No, I don't. I think people that have never tried the drug or that aren't familiar with it have that idea of it. I don't know from personal experience because I didn't have that much fun. Do I think sex and ecstasy are related? Yeah, because I mean it throws down your inhibitions. Like, it's so much easier when you're rolling your ass off and you're massaging someone and you're both feeling really good to be like, hey, how about I stick it in? Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. That was incredible. Uh, I had no idea it would feel that good, you know? It was, it was way better than I expected. Wait a minute. Oh my what? god. Hmm? Are you a virgin? <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no. On E. I didn't think it would feel that good on E. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot better out here. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, you're really good for being a virgin. <laughs> Do you want to take another pill? Um, yeah. 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 Hey, does your mom go out of town every weekend? Because that's pretty cool. I can't believe we had sex in her bed. Dude, we're going straight to hell. You have a basket on your bike. Um, I, I might have yeah. at one point. <laughs> No, you need. Why do you need a basket? For stuff, you have to put things in there. Then when you meet the, then when you meet the people. Okay, it's if, if, if everybody you see, and then you have your your things in the basket. Then it's okay because every, it's um. Okay, you're making no kind of sense right now. <laughs> no, it, it at all. Look, summer. Um, you know why you have to go west? Come on, oh. it's because that's Please where the sun is. Me. The sun. The sun's in the west. Yeah, so you take your bike to the west, and then, um... And? What? And what do we do with the bike in the west? Why do I think people try ecstasy? Thanks. You're trying not to go in the streets. So. <laughs> Sorry. Why do I think people try ecstasy? Same reason people get dogs. Feel this that state of love. You feel loved. I don't know. It makes me forget my troubles. It makes me forget I don't have any money. It makes me forget that. Uh, I don't know. I'm a fat fuck. Basically, I was just curious. I don't know. I grew up in a really conservative home, and I've never been the kind of girl to do drugs or be into that. You know, I was always the sober driver. It's. I don't know. Just seeing my friends, how much fun they had all the time. It's basically a capacity issue of how much I can do it. And you know what that is? I mean, don't call it anything else. That's that's fucking discipline. That's control. People want to say not doing it at all is control. No, no, no. That's being a pussy. Okay, huh? Jizzy. What up? It's Dan. He's in. How's my favorite trust fund baby doing? Pretty good. Uh, I got some bad news, though. My guy ain't coming through. Kidding. What about your guy? My guy's in Orange County. You know that. Fuck. Look, man, I told you if you wanted me to handle this, I could. I need more of a time warning than rush hour on a Friday. The 405's going to be a fucking parking lot. All right, all right. I met this kid when I got I got busted for K once. All right, not that proudest moment of my life, but I couldn't tell my fucking dad, so I had to take the court appointed attorney, which, in most case scenarios, sucks. But KJ was mine. What time can you get off work? I can wrap this up in about an hour. All right, cool. I'll pick you up. No, man, that's not gonna work. I'm wearing a suit, man. I need to change. No, you can change at my place, man, or I'll bring you clothes. Either one. All right. You remember where the courthouse is, don't you? Eh, fuck you. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey. How was school? Good. But I just kept getting distracted thinking about tonight. Yeah, about tonight? Uh, guess what? What? We don't have anything for tonight. What? Yeah, I just got off the phone with like three dealers. Well, are they dealers or are they just people who happen to party? Well, I guess they're just party people, but I mean, it's more options than you're throwing out. I just got here. Girl, I put you in charge of one thing. The drugs. Yeah, well, you know, I feel stupid too. That guy Clinton that leaves us flyers here. He was just here and he asked me like eight times if I needed any pills. So call him. Um, me. I think yeah. that's me, actually. Huh? Eh? Oh, no, that's all me. 
I know he kind of likes me and it creeps me out, so I lied and told him that I have his number. All right, well, you got to find another source to well, get your shit together. What about your fire-breathing people? I mean, people that breathe fire for a living will definitely have some spare drugs. Whatever, I'll call them, but we need a backup. Yeah, well, we'll brainstorm. How does this look? Hot. <laughs> have I been depressed because of my ecstasy use? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd be lying if I said no. Maybe I got depressed. I kind of stopped doing it after a while, and... I was depressed, but I, I just figure things are were depressed in your life, and I think depression's healthy. I think if you do it a lot, you make it your life. I don't know. Well, I guess it makes some people depressed, and if you do it too much, it will make you a little depressed because it uses up your serotonin or whatever. It like, causes a chemical thing in your brain. I don't think that I'm any more depressed than I would be if I was PMSing. There's always got to be a side effect of something, you know? You got you to gotta deal with it. On the hard weekends, usually a three-day weekend, I'll be honest with you, depression is a motherfucker. Fuck, are you listening to me? Shit is killing me. Thinking about it, aren't you? Yeah. That's me, bro. Try to get her out of your mind. Listen, Marina's a good girl. You've been walking around this house for a week feeling sorry for yourself. It's no good. Ooh, I bet that hurt. Oh, you suck. Yeah, combo move. All right, here we go. Cool. Mwanko wins. You do the same moves every time. Dude, seriously, how am I going to make $300 by Monday? Maybe you should try getting a real job. That's funny, because have you ever had a real job? Go. I'm not the one with the rent problem, man. All right, maybe I could pay my rent on time if I didn't have to buy E for you and Eric. It's your turn, man. It's not my fault that you couldn't plan this shit out. I am? I'll plan this shit out. Mwanko <laughs> wins. Maybe I should start dealing. You're gonna start dealing? Yeah. You can't even pass flyers out right, dude. Fuck you. Yo, I got. What's up, man? What's up, my big man, Clinton? Not much. I'm all out of flyers. Oh, I got you taken care of. How you doing tonight? Good, good, good. Beautiful. Shit, looking hella tight in here. Absolutely, it's going off tonight. It's gonna be the shit. Where am I at? Oh, I got you in West Hollywood tonight. Weeho. Man, is it like Chet's turn or something? You always see me there. I gotta send my best guy to the best area. They're the best clientele. Right. Well, uh, not for nothing, but I'm kind of broke tonight. Maybe a little perk. You okay. get moving tonight. Well, I don't. <laughs> and make every one of these count. I'll see you back tonight. I got that extra five for you. All right. Hella cool. Okay, so Aiden's a no. Brad is a no. Duke's in rehab, so no. Eric, I don't think he deals anymore. And Hannah and I don't talk anymore. Josh. Actually, uh, what are you doing tonight? Get to work? No, why? Do you want to go out? No. Um, my mom was planning on making dinner. But maybe I'd like to stay. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't know. I just... I don't like moms and adults in general. It's too much to ask that, uh, my mom did speak my girlfriend? Can Josh get pills? Um, well, maybe. But I don't want to call him. Call him? No, I haven't talked to him in a really long time. It'd be weird. Is he all pills or not? Girl, just call him. Hello? Hey, what's up? Summer? I said she could spend more time with you. Why do we always have to have this conversation? Like, you knew what the deal was before we even got into this. Yeah, but... Don't you think things have changed? I mean, before we started going to parties and shit, I was with a basketball team every weekend. I never asked you to quit the team, Josh. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later, okay? Um, you've been screwing your phone calls lately, or...? Um, no, I've just, I've been working, like, every day, so I've been really busy. Well, uh, what's up? Um, well, actually, Brent and I are going to a party tonight, and we don't have any you-know-what, so we were wondering if you could call that guy. Um, yeah. I, uh, I give a call to Johnny Mason, maybe. Uh, like six? Seven. 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 I give a call and see. Um, you guys, you got room for one more? Um, well, actually, Brent is probably bringing you at your people, so I don't know if it's... Well, you can come, Josh. Well, yeah, apparently we'll have plenty of room. You guys just want me to give you a call after I get hold of him? Get to by your pick me Okay. Thank you, Summer. Yeah? I miss you.
I miss you too. That boy will do anything for you. And so your father fucking tonight? Lathan, what's up? It's KJ. Yeah, man, how you doing, Hustler? I'm just trying to get hooked up for the night. You out? What? Okay, man, I'm almost at your place. You know anybody that can hook me up? Where's he at? 110 North, exit third. All right, appreciate it. And uh, if you give this guy a call, I'm kind of broke with this thing because I don't want to go in cold. We just drove all the way to Orange County and your guy is out? This guy always has pill. Always. But well, what are we going to do now? We're going to go home, change, and then we got to get to the spot after 9 o'clock. We need some new big tigers. No way, it's all going to work out, dude. I'm just saying. It's part of the process. I'm just saying. Don't just say. <laughs> do I think ecstasy is for everybody? Absolutely not. I think it's a personal decision that someone needs to make on their own and I think some people would just wig out on it. I think everybody sh should try it. I mean, I would love to tell my parents, you should try it. Some people when they're on it do things that aren't that great, aren't that safe, are dangerous, um, and those are the type of people that shouldn't be using it. But unfortunately they're the ones who probably use it the most. But yeah, I think everyone would benefit greatly from trying it once. I'd like to go on record to say everybody on the planet should drop a tab at the same time, see where we end up in four hours. The world would be a different place, no doubt. It's 815, where are you? I've been calling you like 10 times, didn't you hear the phone? No, I was in the shower. I'm in the hallway. <sighs> hey. Why are you bitching at me when you're not even ready? What the hell is that smell? What smell? It's that. Do you think you'd at least have the decency to coat that rod of yours in air freshener? Jesus. Whatever, I just gave him a bath last week. Don't you ever delete any of this gay shit? It's better than 70 hours of your family house reruns. Whatever. Are you gonna call your guy? I could call him, but if you want, you take these. When are you gonna get it through your head? I don't do X, and I don't want to be around you while you're on it either. Whatever. You guys, we have to move into a place with more bathrooms. Okay, A, these eyelashes are never gonna stay on, and B, I have a hole in the crotch of my fishnet so it's about two inches in diameter. That's not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> personal AC unit. What do you think, with or without the wig? I don't know, it's cute either way. I'm not sure what the What do you think, Lexa? Wig, no wig? Well, the wig makes you look like a slut. What then? How big it is? <laughs> oh, hell no. This ain't gonna happen. Man, you really wear this shit? Quit your bitching. Man, you must dress in the dark. Whatever. We'll see who gets laid tonight. Neither one of us is getting laid. Your whole wardrobe is pussy repellent. Ooh. Man, what are you doing? Oh, come on. You ladies love this shit. Are you kidding me? I don't know what you've been smoking, but you ain't right in the head. <sighs> but I'm right in the nuts, and that's what matters. Feel better? I love using the girls' room in gay bars. You can eat off the floor. Mm, nice choice. Get over there before the vultures attack. All right, I'm going to end this. Is that Seth? Sam, don't. Hello, Seth. Moving right along, I see. Right, no, you look. That is my best friend, and quite possibly the best man to ever walked this earth. You used him, you fucked him, and then you left. You took a week, old faggot. I oh, don't, don't expect much. My tampons are bigger. I hate guys in this town. All they care about is screwing and fucking doing drugs all night. Also, it's work for me. Here. Yeah, great influence. Just trying to ease your pain. Whatever, I fucking hate this Eric, shit. look, it's my job, all right? What the fuck are you doing in my car? Hey, you guys want to go to a party downtown tonight? <sighs> hey, that's the warehouse thing, huh? Yeah, you know about it? Okay, mm -hmm. look, thanks, but no thanks. Don't run along. Oh, but DJ Cazelle and Stephanie Jeff are playing. Oh, boy, that makes a difference. No, come on, it'll be good. Hey, aren't you that chick from Family House? <laughs> that's right, I am. Were you a fan? Um, no, no, that show sucked, but, uh... You are the first girl I ever jerked off to. Oh my god, get the fuck away from me, you disgusting freak. Let's go, Matt. Ew! Ugh. Dude, we totally have to go to this. Give me the keys. Come on, please. No fucking Why way. Why not? No. This is the night from hell. Are you my best friend or not? Fine. We'll go.
you owe me. And if I see one rat in that goddamn warehouse, I'm leaving, with or without you. Got it? Fine. My favorite pill uh, has got to be uh, either a chocolate monkey, a biohazard. Um, Red Love was one of my favorite pills. White rabbits. Oh, God, let me think. All right, UFOs, pretty good. No, wait, uh, elephants. White doves, butterflies. It all depends on the type of people you hung out with, really. Some would just say them things. Red triangles. Oh, oh, one time I got so fucking hella fucked up on some white dragons. And they had one, which is really hard to find, but it's called a motherfucker. It'll take you on a psychedelic voyage, man. That was a hell of a pill. What kind are these? They look blue. No, they're green. They're called a uh, green monster. I've never heard of green monsters. Are you sure they're legit? Because I heard that they're the bad back one. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, where are we going? Did you take one? Oh my god, he did. Look at his pupils. Do you want to take yours now? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah, I, the next time I went out, and the next time, just, god, I need to have that feeling again. And I don't want to sound like some addict or whatever, because it's really not some addictive thing. Yeah, ecstasy's addictive. Anything is addictive. It's no different. Humans are creatures of habit. Anything that we do, if we like it and we keep doing it, it's going to become addictive. Eating chocolate, having sex, watching a certain television program, it's all addictive. The experience is addicting, um, to get together with people and have a good time. But I do not think that it's something someone has withdrawals for. Some people just like it too much. Like, it's not really addictive. It's not like, you know, a crack, like you gotta have it all the time. But it's like, you know, it's so good and it feels so amazing that, like, you want to do it all the time. I mean, here's the tigers. He's inside, what do you need? He's expecting me. What's your name? KJ. Door to T. Got a guy named KJ said he's here to see you. Never buy shit from fucking fucking scumbag on the street corner. Who knows what the fuck he's giving you? You gotta get someone who you trust, a dealer, who gives it to you, and then you can give it to your friends because you know where it's coming from. It's a completely underground black market kind of thing, and there's no regulating body that says, okay, these pills are safe, these pills are not. If you run out, before you have to buy from somebody that you don't know, you normally have a friend who will have another pill. You tell them, hey, man, I'm down. Can you hook me up? And then I'll straighten you out next week, and they'll take care of you. If that doesn't happen, you have to buy from somebody you don't know, you're uncomfortable with, and uh, that's when things can go bad. <laughs> Let me see you strip. You want to see me what? Strip. <laughs> strip. 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 Come on. How do I know you're not a cop or something? Do I look like a cop? Yes. Come on, strip. Wait, excuse me. Give me a let Try to see you. Don't waste my time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. or something? Wait, don't, don't stop there, pants down, come on. Let me take the pants off. No pants, no pill. <sighs> Fucking Dan. I was an asshole. It's the last time I listened to you, so you got it covered. This whole night starting out to be a shit sandwich, and I end up having to eat it. Relax. Relax my ass, man. I just went through some real disrespectful ass shit in there. I didn't want to talk about it. Well, did you get the pills or not? Yeah, I got them. Let's break them out. Bam! That's what I like to see. Can I have one? Yes, you may. Oh, wow. It's got a flame on it. <laughs> How much X have I done in my life? Uh, I can start when I was 19. I'm 23. Around 100 times. I was doing a pill a weekend. Every weekend. Maybe about 15 times, and every single time was better than the next. For about 
three or four years, so I don't know, a thousand? A thousand pills? Uh, two? Well, there's 12 months, four weeks. There's no way to count that. Like, trying to think about all the times I rolled and how many pills I took each time. 100, 200, 300? Four fucking hundred times. How about that? 400 pills, yes. There's some nights it feels like a thousand in one night. Shit. I can't even tally it up, but enough to kill a fucking large mammal. Or more. I don't know. I lost count, dude. Thank God for, you know, scholarship money. <laughs> but the shittier it tastes, the better the roll is. When I, when I taste E, if it gives you that makes you want a quiver feeling, then I know I'm going to roll hard. Dude, no fucking way. Dude, I'm not dropping unless you do it. Me neither. Why do I have to be the one? Because you're the one that said it works. Dude, I didn't say it works. I said I heard it works. Dude, Clinton, just do it so we can start our night. I don't know, man. I had Mexican for lunch. Oh, poor baby. Just do it. Fine. Well, where do you think you're going? Uh, to the bathroom, bitch. If we don't see you do it, there's no deal. Well, then there's no fucking deal, all right? What the fuck are you talking about? I lose either way. What do you want me to do? Drop trial right here and now? Yes! yes! Dude, Clinton, just take the pill and stick it up your ass. It's not brain surgery. If anyone, I mean any fucking one, hears about this shit, I'm gonna kick both of your asses and never talk to you again. You understand that? You do it, we'll be so impressed. No doubt. Come on, make us proud. Just do it. Fine. Fucking faggots. <laughs> Okay, there. Bullshit. I don't believe you. Tell me, did I do it? Oh, you. <laughs> You're a pig, you know that? I don't know why you eat before you roll, bro. What do you want me to do? I'm starving. How many times I gotta tell you? You won't roll this hard on a full stomach. That's bullshit, D. I always eat before I roll, and I always feel it. It's because you take two pills! Because I built up a tolerance. You built up a tolerance because you eat before you roll. What difference does it make to you anyway? It makes a lot of difference, buddy. <laughs> I think you met my roommate Todd, right? Oh yeah, we met before. What's up, dude? What's up? Hey. You said six, right? Uh, I better make it seven. All right. What time are you guys going to the party? As soon as fat ass here finishes stuffing his face. Fuck you. That's that place in Santa Fe, right? Yeah, you guys want to roll out with us?
Okay, look, we were on the 10, and I was gonna put it in my sock um, at Alameda. Yeah. Alameda, wait, Alameda was the last part. Hold on, they're in my trunk. My it's flyers, my, my flyers. Go in your trunk, dude. Going. Here we go. All right, let's go. problem with a group of friends and you all just took a pill and sat down and really talked it out, I think you could get some things off your chest that you might feel uncomfortable doing when you weren't on the drug. You know, you'd say things that you'd really felt that you couldn't maybe say to your best friend because you were worried about your friendship and when you're on the drug, it's, it's just say what you feel, you know? Hey, great. You're not fine, come on. What's wrong? There's nothing, Dustin. Listen, if this is about that girl, I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know her. I don't know this girl. I just met her tonight. I mean, she's... It's not about that girl. Then what? I can't. Listen, come on. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> and an abortion right before we broke up, okay? Okay. No, it's not fucking okay. Okay. Raina. I made a mistake. I made a really No, you didn't. Mistake. Listen, you did the right thing.
I should be asking you that question. I'm just enjoying the music. I see. I have no idea you're into this kind of scene. I'm not into this kind of scene, Josh. Look, you cannot tell anybody about this movie. This has to stay between the two of us. Oh, no, no, yeah, definitely. No problem. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Okay, wait, can I get you a drink or something? No, Josh, you cannot give me a drink. Okay, well, it was good to see you. Gosh, don't think I forgot about that story you told me about the class. What story? Sock in the bathroom, right? And I think I got some piss on it. That's oh, that's fucking gross. I'm out. Dude, look, the urine on this E here is for guys that are rolling. It'll only enhance our height. Come on. Fuck it, man. Alright, fine. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Oh man. The music? Well, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm a rhythm and blues, man. RB, hey, jazz. My buddy took me to a place in Orange County. I really wasn't feeling it because there wasn't a lot of brothers there. And they had this music. It was, it was like a bad disease, to be honest with you. I just, dad, 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 dad. You know, you pop that pill, and in uh, about 20 minutes, you don't care. And I found myself becoming a fan of house, trance, uh, breakbeats. Techno, drum and bass, trance, hard house. Your role starts with the music, that, with that bass and that beat. Then it'll hit you. And it's all internal and comes out on you. And, and when, you, when everyone's around you, and everyone else is feeling that, and everyone's happy. There's some people up against the speakers just letting the energy of the music go through them. It's just like, <laughs> it pumps through your body. And it's like, it's like you can feel it in your spinal cord. You can feel it through your fingers. It just like fills up your body and just can't stop dancing. And in Europe, I mean, the fans are fucking fans of the music. They were literally like, like kids. I mean, they were brought to scream it. They were screaming when when he would, you know, like pull the bass out or something and you just had like a and then you know, there were people erupting with emotion and you just hear like Okay. <laughs> oh, KJ? Dusty! Ah! 
What's up, bro? I fucking see you everywhere, man. I see some everywhere, bro. Who are you doing? I'm here with my boy Dan. Who's that? You know, Dr. Dan? Oh, the kid with the house in the hill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, man, if you're up for a repeat performance, we're going to do it again tonight, so. Tonight? Yeah. You know any cool people, free buy a house. All I know is cool people, man. Okay, hey, listen, I gotta catch up with my girl, right? Alright, man. Do it. Later. overdose on pure MDMA, pure ecstasy. But when they took it off the market or when, when they made it illegal, then all kinds of people were, were making their own mixes and presses and different, um, different pills were coming out and it wasn't pure anymore. And then, then you get people overdosing on who knows what. When you're a kid, you don't care what people think, you don't care what people say, you just do whatever your emotion tells you to do. And as we grow up, we get hurt over and over and over again, and made fun of and told that what we think or what we do is wrong, so we stop doing that. Ecstasy sort of reverses the process and lets you be a kid again. Just going back to, I don't know, maybe childhood, what it was like just to want to make friends and want to make connections. Oh, would you like a water? Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, Jess, this is a sock. Hey, this is a sock. Jess, nice to meet you. Thanks for the water. Oh, no problem. You know, I think I'm going to go dance a little more. Is that cool? Do yeah, go? I just needed some water. I'm good. Okay, nice to meet you, Sark. Oh, have fun. Sit down. Okay. Thank you so much for the water. That was really sweet. No problem. I enjoyed dancing with you. Yeah, sorry I couldn't keep going. Oh, that's okay. I was tired as well. You have a really cute accent. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from a small town outside Mumbai called Vijayalakshmi. Have you heard of it? <laughs> oh, there you are, man. I've been looking all over the dance floor for you. You are rolling your ass off. Oh, man, it feels really good. <laughs> hey, I want to introduce you to someone. This is my roommate. This is... Um... Sarah. Sarah, pleasure to meet you. Dan. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? Good. There she is. Well, hello there, bathroom boy. Are you finally done pumping? You look great. You actually do. Seems like our friends have already become acquainted. This is your friend, right? How does that feel? You have really soft hands. Okay, this is... Bro, we gotta get out there, man. This house is tearing it up. You wanna dance? Absolutely. care what the person's background is you'll vibe with them you're just, you're just getting combobulating talking while you're on the drug you a lot of times act like an idiot um do things you wouldn't normally do say things you wouldn't normally say um you look stupid everyone looks so stupid hugging each other and loving each other and they don't even know each other i'm so glad we came outside hey are you gonna go to the bathroom are you gonna be here when i get back i know maybe in one sense, I think it's good that the government is trying to stop it, or that, ha or that they have these campaigns to warn about the dangers of ecstasy. Because do I think that I should have been doing it at the age of 14? No, probably not. You know, no 14-year-old kid who's still developing needs to be taking mind-altering drugs. Hey, Clinton. Mm. Are you okay? <laughs> you look like really fucked up right now. 
Let me guys know the person. Okay, your eyes are like freaking me out right now. <laughs> um, is that a water? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, drink all of it. All of it? Yeah. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, maybe you should just stay here and wait till they get back. Oh, well, am I going to go with you? I'll go with you, man. It's not worse than any of these other drugs people are hooked on. I mean, look around everywhere you look. People are on, you know, supplements, dietary supplements, steroids, um, you know, people are on antidepressants, people are on everything. I mean, if you're not happy enough, there's a pill for that. If you're not calm enough, there's a pill for that. I feel so good right now. I'm going my balls yeah. off. How can this be illegal? You know, there was a time when you could go down to the corner shop, it's a morphine, it's opium. You know, the fucked up thing is the pharmaceutical, alcohol, tobacco companies, they're the ones funding all those anti-drug campaigns. No one watches TV, sees a commercial about how ecstasy is bad, and says, oh, okay, I'm going to stop now because there was a public service announcement telling me that, you know, it's bad. You look just like my friend from high school. Really? That's cool. Hey, you know, I'm going to go check on Lexa. She's been out there forever. You going to be okay here? I'm good. Good. We'll take care of her. It's cool. <clears throat> Why didn't I try this before? It feels pretty good, doesn't it? See? Kiss a girl? Yeah. No. Why not? Have you ever thought about it? No. Well, I've thought about it, but I've never, like, wanted to do it. Well, what about right now? No? Yeah, with me. That was weird. Miss <laughs> Willis? Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. out of an after-hours club at 7 a.m. trying to coordinate where you're trying to go and get everybody on the same page where well, you've been doing drugs all night? <sighs> it's like pulling teeth, man. Wait, we don't know where we're going. Yo, does everyone know how to get to my place? Yeah. No. Hey, yo, listen. Everyone know how to get to Crescent Heights? It'll turn into Laurel Canyon. Make a left on Lookout Mountain, right on Wyndham, and then your first right, one, two, three, nine. Seriously, who's driving? I have no idea what you just said. Where's your ride? Neither one of you are driving. Oh, I can get us all. Are you okay to drive, you swear? Oh. You should drive, because your eyes are so crazy. Where's your ride? Around the corner. Maybe I'm golden. Okay, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. So oh, follow you. Just follow me. Right? Yeah, you definitely are following <laughs> Okay. Let's okay. go on. Should we be going to this guy's house, you guys? We just met him like an hour ago. He seems cool. I mean, also my cool people. Will we ever take you anywhere on safe? Exactly. Yeah, you know, I love driving on this stuff. I feel like the whole car is just hovering in the air. <laughs> yeah, are you sure you're okay to drive? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. Well, let's go out now. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull over. You you want some water, man? No, don't worry, he does his uh, shit all the time. He's alright. Oh, Open the door, dude!
Yes, yes. Spiky haired dude, what do you want me to do? Spiky haired dude? Um, was he driving a red car? That is a red car. That is not a That's red car. That's not a red car. car. That's a white car. That's dude. a white car, Clinton. Clinton. Yeah, no, can you get there? Look, I'm a little colorblind, all right? Look, a little fucking oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we We're go. never gonna get there. 1238, right? No, no, no. No, one, two, three, nine. Did you make a ride on Wyndham? Clinton, did we make a ride on Wyndham? Yeah. All right, well then, keep going. Wait, 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 I see you. Park anywhere you want. It's been great. You know, I met a lot of people that do ecstasy, party people, um, and it's made me form a bond with them. But sometimes I wonder, is that all it's based on? Like, we get together to do these drugs, I wouldn't have met these people otherwise, you know? So, sometimes I wonder exactly what's bringing us together. But uh, they're my friends, I stick to them. I find that the people in your life that, or in my life, that stick are the ones I might have had before ecstasy. Wow, this place is really nice. I think he wasn't kidding. It's brand new. So, what? He's looking at me like that. So, you like it? Oh, he's really cute. Yeah, he's also a total player. You know. Come on, he's got brand new clothes for girls to swim in. Uh, well, at least he didn't tell us to go and make it. I mean, that would be really tacky. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've been skinny dipping since, like, graduation weekend. Do you want to go? What? There's all those people out there. And? What? I'll go if you go. We well, you know I'll go. You guys, we don't even know any of them. All the more reason why we should. We never have to see any of them again. You know what? When she's right, she's right. When she's right. Sarah. Sarah. Are you kidding? My student is out there. I'm not going oh, to need to come, come on. No. You guys, seriously. <laughs> All right, boys. Here we go. And it wouldn't be a party without a little tranquilizer. I know that's your game. I'm talking my language. It's your It's his game. Towels. Come on, come on. Dr. Dan, come in through. And on the way back. Oh, oh, boy, hurry up, man. Those girls are waiting. Especially with a whole group of people, it's like everybody, everybody loves you. Everybody's happy. Everybody is in this amazing little world, and it's like nobody's trying to hurt you or fuck you or fuck you over. Like everyone just is in this like perfect little utopia of like love and happiness. too much yeah that is a problem if you can't be happy unless you're rolling you got an issue I know some people that have just taken way too much and they're like crazy now well not crazy but you know they're just kind of not all there you guys have the softest hair <laughs> <laughs> Clinton you got a second yeah man what's up what's this next month's rent what? Just be smart, okay? 
right. It's all about the night. It's all about the night, dude. <laughs> it's all about the night. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck? I'm out of here, dude. I'm in a room. Miss Willis. Hi, Joshua. Want to have a seat? Go ahead. <sighs> How's your night going? Oh, God, did you have to ask? <laughs> No, I can't. Oh, what a crazy night. Don't worry, Miss Willis. Secret's safe with me. Is it? <laughs> well, then let's make a deal because we both have a lot to lose here, right? Definitely. You know, uh, me and some of the kids talk about you sometime. Really? Should I be afraid to ask what you say? <laughs> no, no. Just that, uh, sometimes we wonder. It's... About what? I don't know. There's times when I, uh, I look at you and I think to myself, you know, What's this girl's story? I mean, you're young, good looking, smart. Seems like there's more there than someone wants to teach 12th grade English the rest of your life. You make it sound like it's some kind of punishment teaching you guys. It's not that bad. No, I'm not saying that. It's just like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like that's where your heart is. You know, it was real fucked up after you guys broke up. Yeah, I know. I feel really bad about that. Oh, what is happening over What's here? Up? Where have you been? Scoping the honeys. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that girl over there, don't you? Some? Not as much as you do. <laughs> God, I can't believe you saw that. She kissed me. Mom's the word, alright? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I like her. I mean, at first I thought she had way too much baggage. No way we could relate, but now it's like we fit. You know? like, uh, maybe we need each other or something. She seems like the type of girl who just needs somebody she can depend on, you know? <laughs> so what should I do? Just let her know that she can trust you, that everything's going to be okay. All right. Go to her. Thanks, Miss Willis. <laughs> oh, wait. Keep it, it's yours. <laughs> See you on Monday, Miss Willis. <laughs> you feel so good. Dan. Yeah? Tell me about your first kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this night has been so amazing. I know, mm. this party Thank you, Matt. I love you. Thank you for taking me out. I love you too. I'm so glad I met you, Terry. Oh, glad I met you too. Me too. Hi, these people are like so nice. I think a long term effect of ecstasy would be brain damage. I don't see how it couldn't. I would say no. It doesn't at all. But I don't know. It's like some people, when I met them, I think they were a little sharper. And this sounds really bad, but at this point in my life, I'm in my early 20s. I don't give a shit. Like, one day I'll worry about how my lifestyle is going to affect me when I'm 70. But at this point, of all the other things that are going on, if I even live to be in my 50s or 60s, thank God. Hey. Mm. I'm done dealing. What? Are you serious? See, it's right here. This is my last pill. What half? I'm rolling so hard. Yeah? You take it. Okay. You take it. Okay. okay. Do I have any regrets about my ecstasy use? What am I doing? Why am I doing this? This isn't me. I've never been into this. I, I find myself fighting the idea of regret more than actually surrendering to the fact that I regret something. The only regrets that I have about my ecstasy use are um, I don't know. Can you go to another question? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about not returning your calls. You said it like ten times already. I, I know. I just, I really am. I feel bad about it. I, just, I know that I'm like weird sometimes and I'm not exactly open about why I'm weird. No, there's nothing wrong with weird. I mean, I 
think I made it pretty obvious that I like you. Whether I know much about you or not. I just think that if you did know a thing about me that you wouldn't like me. I'm fucked up. <laughs> so? Like, for real. Fucked up. What? This is just really hard. Hey. Come on, you can tell me anything. It's like, okay, you lived your whole life in an amazing house in fucking Brentwood of all places with your mom, who's amazing, and like, that's all you've known your whole life. And for me, that's the exact opposite. I've never lived in the same place for more than a year. And all the guys I've ever been with are just bad people. They've done fucked up things to me. So, that's why I'm afraid you get close to me. <laughs> We're close now, right? I really do like you, Josh. So, don't think no one cares. Threw up. Oh, baby, it's okay. Oh. It happens. Everybody gets sick sometimes. Oh, no, it doesn't feel right. Oh, I think something's wrong. What, sweetie? <clears throat> sweetie? You're okay. You're okay. It's okay. It happens. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. This is me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> baby. Honey. 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 <laughs> Dustin. 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 Oh. Dan, that kid Dustin is down by the pool. He's on Dan. mental scrapbook, right? And it's like, like all the best moments of my life were in it, right? And I got, I've got one from tonight, I promise. I'm sitting here, I'm in the middle of this crowd, right? There's people everywhere, and we're just, we're sweating, and we're loving, and we're just feeling everything. And I see this girl. And she's so beautiful. It was like I was on this other plane, you know? It was like, like all the energy of the universe was just in me. Sorry. What? What? No! No, he's not! No! 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 You just want a connection with someone. The only thing that I've ever heard of someone dying by taking pure MDMA is not drinking enough water. And I remember looking up and seeing all of these faces around me and thinking, who the hell are these people? It was just a really, really scary, fucked up experience. But um, it's not, it happens to other people, but it doesn't happen to me or someone that I love. I've seen it happen to other people. We've, we've, we've even talked about it with my friends. They, oh, wow, well, that's so sad that they took a bad pill or whatever, but you never ever think it's gonna happen to you or one of your friends ever. Hey, Dad, it's Dan. <clears throat> I know that you're at some medical conference or something. I just, I just wanted to let you know I've been thinking about a lot of the things that, that you're saying, and I, I know I wish sometimes that you would just let me be me and get it done my own way, but I'm not gonna let you down, and I wanted to tell you that. Oh, this isn't going so well. Um, anyway, get home safely, and uh, and I I love you. I'll see you when, when you get back. Bye. Breathe. 
Yes, 